Hi, I'm Dr. Betsy Davis, the Local Recovery Coordinator at the South Texas Veterans Healthcare System. For Mental Health Awareness Month in May, we're creating a series of videos focused on what to expect when you're seeking mental health services here at the South Texas VA. Um, the goal is to demystify the process of seeking mental health services and to make it a little bit easier for you to take that first step if you're feeling stressed or um, feel like you could benefit from mental health care right now. Our first video is going to be um, a conversation between Dr. Franks, who is a primary care provider, and Dr. McLean, who is with the primary care mental health integration team. They're gonna be talking a little bit about what to expect when you uh, ask your primary care provider for a mental health referral. So let's hear that now. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Franks. I'm the Deputy Chief of Primary Care here at the South Texas VA. Hi, I'm Dr. Veronica McLean, and I'm a Section Chief for Primary Care Mental Health Integration here at the South Texas VA. Dr. Franks, can you tell us a little bit about what it might look like when a veteran comes into the primary care clinic and endorses experiencing mental health symptoms? Sure. In primary care, we work as a team. It's called a PAC team and that consists of a provider, two nurses, um, a clerk, and extended team members, which include our PCMHI staff. PCMHI is primary care mental health integration. So we do have a primary, uh, mental health provider in all our clinics, either in person or virtually. All the members of our team are eligible to refer somebody to their PCMHI provider. So very frequently, the first person they contact may be a nurse or the clerk, and if they express needs to see a mental health provider, they can make that referral directly without going through the PCP. Um, off, also, the PCP can make that referral to the PCMHI after their appointment. Um, they are in our clinic. They are integrated, which is great, so they can see people the same day uh, when we need them to. Primary care providers also can treat a great amount of mental health issues. We start medications for depression, for anxiety. We use medications for sleep. Often, we get beyond what we can handle, so we will refer them to our specialists in PCMHI or in mental health. Can you tell us, we brought up PCMHI, can you tell us a little bit more about what PCMHI is and how it fits into the primary care clinics? Sure. Once we receive that warm handoff from a member of the PAC team, we invite the veteran to stay for a, an intake appointment. Um, if they are in agreement, we can see them the same day, as you mentioned, um, for about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll complete a functional assessment intake. And that really includes a full assessment of what they've been experiencing. So some veterans might um, report that they've been having trouble sleeping or that they are having trouble remembering to take their medication to treat their diabetes. In some cases, they might report um, trauma type of symptoms. Um, we'll discuss together what the best treatment options are available for them. And before they leave that day, they'll have a treatment plan that could include seeing someone in PCMHI for individual care. We offer a brief model of care and that's one to six total sessions um, for about 30 minutes each time. And we also offer classes if a veteran is more interested in being around other veterans um, dealing with the same symptoms. Um, following that, if they're in agreement, we will get them set up that same day for their next follow-up appointment and they'll walk, walk away from that appointment with a treatment plan. Great. Can you tell us what would happen if, uh, if a patient exceeds their number of PCMHI visits or their mental health conditions seem too complex for PCMHI? Sure. If in that appointment it sounds like their symptoms are a little bit more chronic and have, uh, are, they're not new, um, we'll, we'll discuss various options that we have at South Texas for specialty and general mental health. That could be our BHIP clinic, that could be in our PTSD clinical team, that could be um, in our bipolar uh, clinical team. We oft often um, see veterans that come in and they um, may report having more severe mental illness symptoms, and we have programs for those services as well. 
um, we'll discuss that together and create a new treatment plan. And if they're in agreement um, with their permission, we would submit a referral on their behalf. Great, thank you. And for the veterans out there, we'd like you to remember that access to your mental health providers, your PCMHI team, it comes through primary care. So if you have any concerns or questions, contact any member of your primary care team and they can make a referral or a handoff to the PCMHI team in primary care. Thank you.